Hey everybody, it's John Tagnus, the Big Fib Loom, back for some more Animal Crossing. Last time we experienced Lardy Day and had fun with that. A big one, so she got to choose the theme. This time, I'll see what mail we got. All full, so let's see, we can toss and read some quickly. From the HRA. 52,844 points. The positioning of each piece creates a roof with perfect frag tree. Doesn't that mean we get a prize? Doesn't it? No. Anyway, from Mum. Dear BFB. Fresh clean sheets are one of life's small joys. I write this letter from bed. Although it's noon. I'm never leaving. Love, Mum. Oh, very nice. Oh, but yeah. Toss a detoss. And what have we got here? I think these are things ordered. So, gold stereo and a modern sofa, I think. Yeah. Yeah, we've got some decorating to do today. Shame. I don't, maybe we've already reached 50,000. I've forgotten about it, but... I hope we can actually get that done at some point. Either way, I did buy some turnips off screen. Well, in the reef anyway. Just gave all the money to the reef and bought, made them buy about 90... I'm trying to remember the exact number. Probably about 9,000 turnips, I'm assuming, I think. But yeah. Actually, maybe 9... I don't know the exact number. It's about 90 piles of 100 turnips, so... Okay. So, let's get shovel out, wherever it is, just blanking, and let's get shoveling, right? Yeah, that was the first fossil, also a trap, nope, a first fossil. Diggy dog dog. Oh, there's a fossil, and a butch. Well, let's dig this up to get a second fossil. How are you doing, Butch? Not too sour after losing the Lady Day contest? Diggy Dog Dog, be monkey. You're looking at saucy as ever, I see, Ruff. That's out of the way. What the heck did you want anyway, Ruff? Give me news. Hey, be monkey. No, Gladys, right? I need to deliver a letter to Gladys for me right away, Ruff. It usually takes me about five minutes for me to get changed my mind, so get going. Leave it to me? Ah, uh, ah, uh, shoot. That's disappointing. It would be cool if we were living a birthday letter, but guess because I have these full, I can not toss this out. But it's nice to keep mum letters there. We, we, they'll always be here on video, so I need to worry, but let's get and change the rest. Dig the dog dog, it's you. So tell me what you do around here anyway. Who are you sending it to next? Having dreams. Take my dreams, okay? I dream about eating a peach cobbler tonight. I dream of eating peach crumble after that. Oh, oh. I hope I'm not doing too big, rough. <laughs> You had a delivery for me though? Dig it up, dog. It's half day for you, bee monkey. So, what do we want anyway? Even more, you do me a favor. Probably forgot to send the pinky letter now. If I ask P to deliver it, who knows when I'll get around to it. So, I need to deliver the letter for me by my hand. It usually takes about five minutes for me to change my mind, so get going. Leave it to me. Listen, okay. Don't get any wise ideas about opening that letter. I'll find out. When I do, I'll break you. Got that rough? Indeed. Oh, well, where is uh, How are you doing, Bill? Yeah, what is up in the world, Bee Monkey? You chilling or what? Or else? Huh? I'm so pumped today. I'm just going to practice football till I'm sick. I've been practicing on a human mannequin by bashing their face repeatedly and repeatedly. You're not sour about Lottie Day. Oh, no, I'm totally not sour about that. Never that, though. You got something to say to me or else? Talk! Let me tell you, I've got a few bittersweet memories. Yeah, the biggest one is when I crept up climbing a tree and fell into a beehive. Or else. How's that? That's as good as Sable's story, isn't it? So tragic. And it started my murder spree, right? That's a total murder backstory. I don't think that's a legitimate reason to do murder. Oh, why not? Because it probably isn't. Well, Pinky's walking around, so we got Hunter down. Ah, Freckles, how are you doing? Hey, it's Randy Speed Monkey. So right now I'm trying to get rid of all my old lame junk. Say, so, do you want to help me recycle? Sure. 
Why you want to help me, Grace? I'm gonna find you home. Sorry, sorry. Maybe we'll work out next time. I know you're blocking the path of a conversation, but you know I could be on every TV show when I hit it big. Yay! Second so these days all look the same to me, and it sounds even worse. It takes someone really amazing to get super famous. Oh yes, you want to make someone amazing celebrities for me, Butch. I guess I got to have more going for them than just a pretty face. You know, some kind of cool skill or talent, rough. What? Maybe you're not going to be famous then. Oh, yeah. Am I just a pretty girl with a pretty face? No, I count your buckiness as a special talent, rough. Oh, I just end on mutual terms. Not being angry at each other. But, yeah, where is Pinky? Oh, yeah, we also grew... I technically saw this earlier, but we did grow another blue pansy, so... We finally got another hybrid after waiting and waiting. Took so long, though. But, yeah, where's Pinky? Where's the Pinkster? Where's the third fossil? Where's the Pitbull Trap? Where's the penguins? Who knows? Come on, we got to hunt them down today. Come on. Is there anything down here? No. Yeah. Is that a trap or the third fossil? Oh, that's all done and dusted. Now we just wait for a pitfall trap to fall into and we got to hunt down Pinky, so. Let's see. Pinky should be atop here somewhere. I'm assuming, anyway. I didn't get blocked by a boulder, which I still need to do a money rock. Pinky, where are you? I know you're not hiding for no reason. Get out with your hands up. Come on, go congratulate the winner of the Lardy Day contest again. Hmm. Okay, I guess she's not up here then. I'll do a quick money rock search. She's probably up in where the museum is. Maybe I somehow missed her. Hey look, money rock! Yay! But yeah, hopefully we can find her easily and she's not hiding somewhere. There you are! Oh, look me being blocked by tolls. But yeah, Pinky, got livery for you. Hi, Crusher Beamer. Wait, where have you been? Did you take a half day? Well, okay, it'll be a little secret while. Well, oh, those are earlier than I've been recording for the last few days. Oh, so do you want something from your what? Well, letter time! Do 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 from Butch. Here you go. Oh, from Butch? I wonder what I could say, why? Hee hee hee. Oh, is that a fact, why? Check it out, so awesome. What a total cracker, wow. Hello, Pinky. Your letter was funny, but kind of harsh. Ha -ha. Good letters are written quickly and sent properly, like you. So see you later, Butch. Was he talking about my fast speaking? Probably, yeah. Good to see that wild child saying okay, wow. Be lucky if you did my tell Butch I said hi. I appreciate it. Yeah, let's have one more conversation before I head off. It's so great. Thanks for asking. Oh, you didn't? Well, why not? I just won the Lardy Day contest, right? Yeah. So, speaking of which, you probably interview me. How what? Tell me a story. Jane, guys? So adorable. We're in the same organic magic Java club. What even is that? Not for anything suspicious about that, right, Ma? More suspicious on your cult activities for Davian? Probably not. So, again, congrats on your win. I'll just go find Butch. I saw him heading over to the town centre, I think. Well, I'll say town centre, but it's more like town hall, really, which is in the top right corner. Doggy dog dog, oh shoe. So tell me, what are you doing around here anyway? I delivered it. What, so you made delivery on timer? You put PT to shame. Well, uh, I'm not very good at this, so thanks, I guess, Ruth. Technically, I think PT did a good job if he delivered the gold stereo for 12. Here, I'm gonna let you have a rock to uh, Ruth. You know, as memories of bands and stuff. Thanks for you, everything turned out okay. Who would have thought? Oh, thank you very much. Don't know if I have any use for it in my house, but thanks anyway. Either way, we've got everything we needed for digging up stuff, so... I'm going to head over to the museum and we have a nice break at the roost. Hiya, blabbers. I'll leave you to sleep and I'll talk to you in a sec. But hey... Are you kidding me? I checked the times perfectly. And I'm sure I actually corrected the error I had. And they're still not here? Seriously? Yay. 
You waiting, Roost? Not Roost, bro. Cuckoo, don't mention it. I do what I love to do because I love it. I love it here. Is that so, please? Wait. What's happening? Cuckoo, don't mention it. Was it because we took a drink here the previous day? <laughs> wow. We gotta even get a coffee here. I'm sorry, we only do one coffee per day and you had a coffee on Sunday, so technically that invalidates your drink. Wow. I'm now sad. <laughs> well, that failed on both accounts, so yay. Well, I'll see you later, bro. Oh, how's Tom look? Welcome, welcome. Feel free to look around. Take your time. I guess that would be some medicine. You saw what happened already, didn't you? Yes! I'm happy you didn't get anyone sick during the event. You didn't have to do it immediately after. Oh, it's not a big problem. Seriously? I'm not dealing with you right now. I would rather sell to Timmy and Tommy. Welcome, Kim. This is the second floor. Here, you find virgin of items from around the house. House. Should be letting the music play a bit longer, but yeah. What's this then? Is it um, the Marco Bonsai? One of the few items that I think was black, actually. <laughs> oh, black furniture, but yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's see. I don't know if we had that bad. Also, I don't think we definitely haven't had a character, so I might be full. Let's test it out, am I full? Nope, okay. But we do need to sell some stuff. It's just how we can help you on find this day. I want to sell. Let's see. Boop, boop, boop. We don't need this. I still have that. Oh, yeah, because I bought red turnip seeds. Alright. How oh, cute those for now, maybe. Oh, shoot. Uh, yay for pressing wrong buttons. So, sell fossils, and then we'll be done. Now I got hiccups. Ah, no, that'll be all to me and Tommy. Apart from buying the screen bed, just in case. <laughs> but we haven't bought that table either, have we? I don't remember it, so. Yeah, good thing I actually noticed it again. What are you, a classic table? Exotic end table. Well, I'll buy that. Yeah, I think that'll be all. We got a whole day of dressing stuff, not dressing stuff, making our room, so. Yay, thank you very much. Please come again and see us again soon, soon. Will do. Well, Tom, look. I hope you're happy with yourself. Of course I am. I get more profit from you every day. Yeah, you do. Thanks much. Please do come again. We'll be waiting. Hmm? And hello. Hey, welcome. Welcome to Able Sisters, where you are the fashion designer. We should be quiet again, I forgot that we are technically listening to the new town tunes. And what's this gold? Gold armor suit. <laughs> I'll buy it just for the joke. It looks so ridiculous though. Um, uh, what's up? I was just thinking about something from my past. My far distant past. Back when Tom Nook and I were much, much younger. I used to look up to him as though he was my older brother, you know? Now those days are just a faded memory for this old girl. And you depressed too? Um... Oh, how embarrassing. What do you need? Troubles? I just... I just wonder what's wrong. My sister's been acting so weird lately. She sits there staring out the window, sighing. You don't think it's weird, be exhaustion, do you? No way. No exhaustion, you think? You're probably right. Wow. So this is actually how we learned the backstory, because I think I remember listening to one of Jogoi's videos talking about Sable's backstory. It's actually interesting this is how we actually learn it. So yeah, I hope you two get better. It'll be more interesting to learn what their story is and stuff. Well, I'll see you later. Technically I should sell my gold armor, but I'll do that later. Great to see you. Come back soon, okay? Alright, I think I already checked this out, because I was checking houses before I left last night and jay was one that was trying to leave well he's trying to pack up aren't you yeah i'm gonna get all my metal stuff ready gonna try harder to win laddie day next year uh laddie day is a monthly event well i try harder than that too 
help. I hope you get some good practice in. I will. Well, we have the sick girl, Yuka, again. What is it with you and getting sick? You have the worst luck! I feel so very cold. Can't stop shivering. Lipstick all over my face. Neurotoxin and practicing poisons do not mix. Need medicine? What, oh, really? Yeah, take this. <laughs> uh, let's make sure you're not taking too many poisons, alright? I feel a little better, Toxic Heart. You guys have also been practically hard for the Lardy Day contest, but now sickness has caught up with you. Yeah. Oh, don't feel bad, okay? I just hope you get better soon, okay? Uh, the medicine feels like it's working. There's one name that just moved to top my friend list, BFB. Take care. I'll see you to say something like that, Toxic Heart. Just make sure you get a rest, okay? And how is the Drixer today? You doing good? Wow, be making where you come from? You just appeared out of nowhere! Oh, okay, you can hear my story about how I got now. I think you do have lots of flowers outside, so I guess you technically do garden. But well, sorry, but I just can't tell my story for free, Worth. We'll probably have a gardening contest coming someday. Yeah, that's gonna be a bit of a pain with everyone growing so many flowers. So, uh, yeah, why didn't you want to talk to me anyway? Speak to me. Now, they rent to Damien. Never knew someone could be just such a bad fisher. Everyone just keeps saying that, don't you? Yeah, we do. It's fun to mock him. Quite a size, speed monkey. Right, right, you want to chat about something, right? I'm bored. Do you think you could make your house a little more conservative? Well, that's just me forcing my opinion. Do you mean like smaller? Like a star, uh, house like a monkey. Say, what can I do for you, Ruff? Try the letter I got from the Happy Room Academy. My room is a mess. Can't believe my coordination and be 369 points. Yeah, but now I got over 50,000. What? You got 50,000? Uh, I know I'm being judged, and you are being judged, but I can't help but laugh like a maniac. <laughs> uh. Anyway, one last conversation for Randolph. I wish I got this really nice picture of a cat for him. I haven't shown you one yet, but I can show it to you. You want to see it? Ooh, yeah. Yeah, I can't just see you. My copy of Chilling Magazine came in this bag, see? You have one, of course. I'm so embarrassed right now. Uh-uh. Well, bye. Hope to see you later, Drake. Enjoy reading that Chilling Magazine. And how's the nearly birthday girl herself? Oh, uh, technically isn't even my birthday, it's my creation day. Guess it would be. Wow, bee monkey, you're here, you're really here or else. Last night I made a wish that you would come visit me today and tomorrow and the day after. Wrote my wish on the programming and all my hard work paid off, so what can I do for you or else? Mabel's awfully sweet. You can tell she cares a lot about her big sister. If you had a younger sister like her, Bee Monkey, I'm sure you'd be very proud or else. Yeah, my sister's having some fun. She's gone to uni and stuff. But yeah, you got anything else to say? Oh, Bee Monkey, uh, hi. By the way, what do you need from me or else? Bored. Watch out with Butch and Drake anyway. It looks like they get along okay, but they don't really seem like friends. Tell me, Bee Monkey, why do you think of them or else? We have to help. <laughs> That's right, Bee Monkey. It's time we kick their friendship up a notch. Yeah, I'll just leave the details to you. Let me know how it works out or else. Otherwise, I would just put them in tests of friendship and it would go disastrously properly. Yeah, that would probably go wrong, wouldn't it? Oh, I'll leave you in a chiver mood, and I'll see you tomorrow for your birthday. Well, I don't know what to get you specifically, but hopefully I can get you something really good. We have built a snowman. I am I'm alive, alive, a raspberry glorious day. This color, the shape, the shine, all flawlessly. Actually, yeah, my face perfection you mold me a body of the gods, I thank thee. Honestly, for a second, I thought it would have failed, but nope, we got a perfect snowman. Happy days. But yeah, let's see. What else do we need to do? Oh yeah, we can shake down trees. Let's see if we can get some bees. I think we've got some medicine left up, so we can actually go for bee hunting stuff. We can also do some flowering, but I won't do the rest of the screen. 
But yeah, you can go back into your storage. Boop de boop. And let's get you two picked up. Well, I only need one. But yeah, let's shake down some trees to see if we can get some extra furniture. Oh, we get attacked by bees. Let's go back inside. Seriously? I barely missed that. Yay. Seriously, how fast are bees? Seems like the OP in this game. Second B, will I get into museum? No, I won't. I'm not fast enough for this. Need to get into speed boost to outrun bees. What's the speed upgrade? Well, there's the first furniture. What is it? A tumbleweed. I think we've already seen that, but I guess we could see the animation, see if it's got anything. Oh, there's a note in a bottle. Do we have room for that? Yeah, we do. I'll see what's in it. Read. Daily horoscopes. During the lunar eclipse, you'll run around like a shovel wielding maniac wearing a hockey mask. Astrocon Industries. There's an industry for Astrocons and. Wait, what even is an Astrocon? And they do horoscopes on a regular basis? And I'll wear a hockey mask on a lunar eclipse. I really doubt that. Oh, there's another B. Just accept it, Max. <laughs> You're not running away when there's only one point is J, and that's not going to really help you because you're just going to run over by flowers. Accept my fate! I will hide behind this tree of shame until the camera forces me to see what I look like again, even though I haven't even taken any medicine. I don't get paid 100 bells for all this getting stung by a bee, even if it's done multiple times. Now, oh, what's up, Pinky? How can we won't think of new pet fish? Should people do need any good fish names? Filet. Yeah, that's cool! Yeah, I finally got a good day when we were really cool. Thanks, we are. Okay, we won't. See, help me out. Give me this. I take care of it. It wasn't easy to find ranch falling. So, okay, I didn't drop chocolate ice cream on Sonic. Wow. Yay, in less enthusiastic terms. Gonna sell you later. My inventory's full. Just gonna drop it on the floor once I find the green furniture. Let's have a piece of furniture. A bonfire, which I've already seen. That's what Bill has in his room every day. But yay, we got it all done. I'll well, see what the tumbleweed does and we can start decorating our room and stuff. Well, let's see a few of these items we got. Right, where are they? Bonfire. We. Next up, let's see if the tumbleweed has an animation. Do ya? Oh, you don't. Would be cool to see it rotating, but no. Oh well, let's see. We got rock dog, which will be green, I think. Yeah. It's that is a new theme tune for a town, so yeah. Either way, we still have stuff to empty and stuff, so I need to organise my inventory a bit. We also need to plant this. We also need to take medicine, so. Let's go take that, because we're done hunting for treasures and trees with bees. Okay. But yeah, I'm going to organise my inventory a bit, and I'll see you in a sec. Oh my goodness. I was just looking some stuff up, and that's a rainbow. Why is that a rainbow? Does it have anything big? Is it just, just a rainbow outside? Wow. Oh, that's a rare thing you never see every day. Do you actually spawn it then? Does it actually go we get to see a rainbow? I don't know if that signifies something. Maybe I'll have a quick check on that. 
Which greens and yeah, the rainbow is nothing big, but still, it's cool if you get to see one. I never knew they even existed in Animal Crossing, so it's kind of cool we get to see one. Here yeah, well, I'm just looking some stuff up just so I can plan my room better. Yay for delays. <laughs> All right. Well, there's some stuff I got waiting for mail to come in, but. We're going to start getting our room decorated, even though it's not, like, not going to be the best, I think. Yeah, I think this time we're just going to ditch things for you and we'll go with a different theme. We are going modern. So, let's see, where did I put the mods over here? There we go. Don't know what walls I would want for this place, but... Yeah, let's see, is this the modern sofa? No, it's called stereo, and this will be the modern sofa here. Yeah, let's see. I want to make this like my office area. Uh, let's see. If I was going to have a table here, I think. I would want like, like a big table in the middle here. And right now, I want to have my gold stereo in the middle of the room, so. Place it here. There we go. And there we go. I want my modern chair to go here. I think it should be somewhere. There we are. So yeah, this will be my chair where I sit in, menacingly. I know you can't have it equally perfect, but yeah. Let's see, what music could I put on? Okay, okay, funk, maybe. But yeah, we'll have a big table here at some point, but I don't know what table I would want. But right now, we do have some temporary stuff to fill out. Yeah, let's see, we've got a cabin low table. Okay, no, that is... no. I will probably solve that. Let's see, we had a glass top table, I think? Yeah. We could temporary use for now. Yeah, let's see. Well, the thing is, I want to have a nice desk over there, so I need to figure out what I want to do with that. Yeah, I can... I want to have a nice big table so I can sit in there. Yeah. Otherwise, I want to put my trophies in this corner. So we are getting a bit of things for the end, but... I just want to keep it minimal. Where's the fishing trophy? Oh, there. So, I did order some modern tables now, so that should be coming in here. And then we're going to have our executive toy here. I actually could have it on my desk on a later date, but for right now I was going there. Yeah, I think I also could put my red clock around here as well. Have some nice stuff on my desk. Yeah, that'll be the main plan. Yeah, honestly, this is not much of an episode because I don't have furniture to come in, so... Yay. Yeah. Otherwise, when we get the bug contest, we'll be able to fill this slot. We'll probably be able to fill this slot with some nice red furniture. And we could just have some random stuff around anywhere. Hmm. But the question is, how would I want to do rest? Hmm. I could have, like, Two end tables here, maybe? But I could just go here. Hmm. Yeah, this is what I'm trying to figure out. How would I want my room to be decorated? Like, we don't need all four seats filled because there's not going to be many people coming to visit us, so. It doesn't mean to look cool for aesthetics. But yeah, I think that's what I got for now. Yay, the whole big thing of the episode, and I haven't got much for it. But well, we do need to check our walls and stuff, so let me have a quick check. Okay. Are we sucking up setting up furniture? What do we have in here that I can use? Let's see. Got some walls and a dog barking. A robot floor, imperial tile, western floor. And... Nothing I would really want to use, would there? Robot wall, tropical vista, cityscape, imperial wall, library. Problem is, I don't really want to use most of these walls. We'll just stick with the cityscape for now until we get something better. I should check the shop we to see if I can get something ordered. Well, check something ordered for walls and floor. Yeah, paste some wall. And that'll be a good start for now, I think. <laughs> Still looks awkward when we have stupid windows. Why do we need these windows? We don't need them. They just ruined the design. Yeah, 
That should give another good idea of what we want to do with this room. But yeah, I'm gonna have a quick look, see if we got any good flooring in either the catalog or the shop, and I'll see you in a sec. Hello. Alright, let's see. Do you have any good flooring and walls? Cabin rug, I don't think that's gonna be anything amazing. Nah. I think that would fit the room I want. I was like, I think butchers would fit best. Or I could make my own tile set, couldn't I? That's one thing I could do. I don't think the one rug was that good at all. And what are you, last one? Did I skip in the middle one? What's the middle one then? Version. Don't think that was good now. Like, it's cool, but not something I would want to use in my room. Alright, check the walls quickly. Library wall. What? So, yeah. I don't want that for my wall, honestly. And what are you gonna be? Rose. I remember I didn't like that much. Nah. Okay, and last one we have here is a Latisse wall. Yeah, I've already used it, I think. I feel like I've already used that. But, yeah. Hmm. What? We're glad it's like this, actually. I'll buy it just in case. That might be a good present for Gladys, I think. Don't know if there's anything specific we have to do for present giving, but I'll give that a shot, at least. I'll see you later, Timmy, Tommy. Well, but I'll check the catalogue, see if there's anything good to order. But otherwise, I think we're done with decorating unless the meal comes in last second and stuff. Thanks much. Please do come again. We'll be waiting. Hmm. Alright, I didn't find anything really that big, honestly. So, unless I see something in the reef when I check the walls there. I think we're pretty much done. But let's do the last couple of things before we end the episode. So, we have some things to bury and make sure they can grow. Let's get another red turnip in case Wendell comes round, so then I can actually give him something. We do have the turban still, but I would want a copy of that because that's something you can't duplicate and stuff. And there's another branch that we need to go through with quests and stuff. And otherwise, let's see. Oh, we should have also watered it. We also need to unequip that because... Yep. And we need to grab the coconuts because we haven't grown them yet and we need to get that done, so... Yeah, let's get them picked up. There we go. Coconuts. Coconut. We should really plant the second coconut tree. Uh, since we'll be needing to do it for quests later, let's keep them close by. Was I gonna thought they died or something? I think to put a tree next to each other, so let's make this a nice coconut path. Hope it will grow nicely. Do I? The question is, do I want? Mm -hmm. I'll risk it. We'll get them right next to each other and hopefully they'll grow. So, furry. I'm not sure how these will work, but for now we'll just have a nice coconut bath. Maybe we'll put some, well I can't put one here, but I could put like two here maybe once we drop this down. I'm not sure how we can space them out. That'll be a problem. But whoa, lucky 40 clover. I'm so lucky. It's like that was there already. And we already knew that was the lucky clover, right? But yeah, let's plant that down. And there's one more we can plant around here, I think. So, well, we know what the lucky clover is. So let's go grab it. Been so useless for so long because, well, it's failed to grow in this tree a couple times. Well, multiple times. Why well, saying a couple was multiple times because of a bridge that didn't work. But yeah, let's see. Here's how close we can actually grow these trees. This will be a test. But yeah. Let's plant this last one down. I think that will be the end of the episode. Well. Well, we didn't get too much done. But hopefully you enjoyed the episode anyway. Next time, we celebrate Gladys' birthday and see what 
we can do with, uh, alongside that. I'll see you guys then.